Hello and welcome to this tutorial, my friends. I'm gonna show you today how to install a Melodyne 4.2.4 on Ubuntu 18.04 um, in order to work with your desired DAW. We will use LinVST at a later stage. So first of all, open your browser of choice then go over to the Salamony website, which should look like this. Then click on trial and download Melodyne 4 Studio for Windows. Just click download and um, when the while this one is downloading, we will head over to uh, the webpage ubuntuhandbook.org and there is a link in home how to how to install wine 5 stable in ubuntu 18.04 and 19.10 so um, this is pretty similar to the installation from wine.org winehq.org but um, since I tried um, it using the steps mentioned on on this on WineHQ, this left me with an un, unfulfilled uh, dependencies. So Wine won't install and therefore won't start. So I came across this installation and it worked out fine. First of all, um, I want to tell you that all of the links I um, I have here, I will put into the description below. So you can just click on the link and copy that to your browser and it will guide you to this website. So first of all, you need to copy this um, command, just uh, mark it, hit command C and then paste it into your uh, terminal and then hit enter, type your super user password and this one will um, install of all of the necessary dependencies which the installation process from winehq.org does not. So once you're done, you then just copy this uh, command you already know, hopefully uh, to enable the 32-bit architecture uh, on a 64-bit system. And then just paste it into your terminal again, hit enter, then um, download the key for the repository. Um, also copy the second command and hit enter. In my case, it's telling me that's already there since I already tried it previously. Then you want to add the, the wine res repository for our version. And therefore we need to rename this last path as it is explained here. So we're gonna go over to our terminal and delete a EON uh, with and replace it with Bionic. So yeah, that's it. Hit enter again and then it will um, yeah, simply add the repository. Then since we are using a 1804 um, we need to add the PPA for this specific file here in order to make wine work correctly, which is not stated in the officially winehq.org website. And it's another reason why wine won't start and won't install at all. So yeah, just hit enter to continue and then 
our last command is the final command to install wine and just simply copy and paste that into your terminal and then it's gonna fetch all the necessary um, data <coughs> oh yeah and just confirm and then it's gonna download all the um, yeah, packages we need so this may take some time depending on your internet connection so in my case it's not that fast and therefore it takes some time to download all the packages um, might depend on my internet connection but also on the server of, of wine and the connection to that server so just be patient and wait until it's done In the meantime, while this is still downloading with a pretty low speed in general, there would be 2.5, 2.83 megabits per second. Um, we, you can uh, open another, another tab on your browser and search for LinVST. And there you will have two of these and we will choose this the second link which says releases just check that link and there we will have this page where we can download linvst 2.8 and we will scroll down until we find the packages we have the opportunity to install a debian package but I would recommend you to download the Debian stretch zip file since inside there you will have um, an installation uh, readme file so you can follow the steps there uh, and just install it for yourself. So this was pretty quick. We will go over to our um, uh, file system manager head over to downloads and then there we already have it um, I'm gonna delete it and this one I'm just gonna unpack so right click open you open to unpack this stuff with whatever program is installed I'm gonna unpack it to documents and there you can already tell I've already unpacked it over there um, you can unpack it in any location you want so in the meantime um, wine finished installing so uh, go you can go over to your terminal and just type in exit and hit enter um, then in the meantime you could uh, yeah, simply just hit uh, unfold or unzip and uh, it will extract your linvst um, archive and then you can go over to your uh, folder where you unpack your linvst uh, 2.8 debian stretch folder and your find so far because 
right now we won't we will not install LinVST and won't set it up because we haven't installed um, Melodyne. Therefore, I open another um, file manager window and you can simply unzip the Melodyne zip archive and then uh, start the installer. In my case, I have a licensed version licensed version of Melodyne. So I will choose this one. Um, make sure you hit uh, right click on the setup exe and go to preferences and make sure you have checked this to open it as a program. Then simply double click on the setup exe and the installer should show up as shown here, then you can um, uh, continue installing it. Uh, if you installed Wine for the very first time, um, Wine will ask you to install some Gecko uh, components and some HTML components. This installation of the Gecko and the HTML uh, stuff may take you uh, two tries to install since it will fail most times at the first try. So give it a second shot and you should be good to go. So there we have our Melodyne installer. Simply hit continue and then continue again, agree to the license agreement and again, then install uh, VST2 as 32 or 64 bit or both if you like. My machine supports or my DAW supports both. So I will install both of them. I will leave the installation path um, set to default since it's easier to, for me to remember um, the path when setting up LinVST at a later stage. So we will confirm this again and again and install. And voila, we are done. So just fine. Now we will uh, open, we will, I'm gonna go back to this a tab and go to my home folder and then check this button over here, these three horizontal lines and I have the opportunity to show the hidden folders. And there we have our .wine folder and we can go inside there, go to drive C, go to program files, Salamoni, Melodyne 4 and Melodyne Excel. <clears throat> and that's how Melodyne looks like and you and I will simply hit activate and it will guide us to uh, the Melodyne license website and since I have already got a Chrome open, it will simply just open this one. And there I have the opportunity to activate this uh, license on that specific computer I'm working on and I'm gonna do that. Hit activate, type in my, uh, my email account and my password. And then I can see my uh, serial number and the computer I wanna, I'm gonna activate it. So hit activate again and it's now telling me activation is successfully done. I'm gonna close this window and as you can tell in the background it already activated Melodyne. So we got Melodyne fully working. So 
Next up, we will set up LinVST since our DAW, in this case Bitwig, is not able to work with this uh, Windows XE um, file. So therefore go over to the folder where you unzipped your LinVST 2.8 Debian stretch folder, enter the folder and open the readme file. Everything I'm gonna tell you right now and uh, in the next few minutes is written down exactly like this in this document. So you can read it and you can um, yeah, simply follow this installation. But I'm not gonna do this since I already know the steps. But I leave that open on the side. So first of all, go to the embedded folder and then copy the uh, file name file with the name limvst.so and then open an, another tab to your um, home folder. Go to your .wine folder, drive C, program files, then common files, then VST2, Salamony, Melodyne, Melodyne DLL and hit paste. Afterwards, ch uh, click on the on the um, item with the left mouse button and hit F2 to rename and simply rename it to Melodyne. So once you are done with this, go back to your embedded folder, then copy all of these four tracks or items which contains the LinVST server track name. Mark them all, copy them by control C. And then I, li I like to do, uh, open another terminal, type in sudo nautilus, I mist mistyped that, sorry, sudo nautilus <clears throat> and then go over to your main drive where the operation system is stored, then go to USR and then to the bin folder. And since the bin folder contains a lot of stuff, it may take some time to load. And there, simply just paste it. And in my case, I already did this, but I'm simply replace all the containing files with the ones I've copied. So once this is done, simply close the window and close the... Um, the terminal. Yeah. <clears throat> so now we will go back to uh, to our LinVST 2.8 Debian stretch folder and we will go into the convert uh, folder. And there you have the opportunity to simply convert one file or multiple files and therefore we have the LinVST convert tree which converts multiple VSTs at the same time but in our case we will simply stick with the LinVST convert um, program simply double click on that and then this little window opens there it's already telling you what to do choose LinVST.so so we will check this one, go to our documents folder where I unzip the LinVST folder. So this one, enter this folder, enter the embedded folder and there you have the LinVST.so file. So open that, 
and then choose the DLL folder. In this case, it's referring to our Wine DLL. So in our case, it's we hit the that drop down menu, go down to different places, then our home folder is already showing us the hidden folders. We will go uh, to the wine folder, then drive C, program files, common files, VST2, Salamoni, Melodyne, and then click open. And then simply hit convert start. And that's it, it's already done. Close this window. You can close the readme file if you want. If you do think you don't need it, you can close any other windows. And I'm gonna hide the hidden folder. folder. And now we can open our DAW of choice. In my case, it's Bitwig. And then um, show Bitwig the um, the path to oh um, to the VST. So in my case, it's telling me that um, not activated for offline usage. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna go to demo mode since it's working perfectly fine. Or at least it should, yeah. It does. <clears throat> and then you go to settings and to locations. In my case, this is the place where I can add plugins and uh, sample libraries and stuff like that. Uh, for your DAW of choice, you, I think you gotta know where to add VSTs and stuff. So we will check, click on add, and then <clears throat> we need to uh, have our hidden folder shown again. So simply right click into the window, window and tell show hidden folders. Then go to the .wine folder, drive C, program files, common files, VST2, Salamoni, Melodyne, select folder. And then I'm gonna close this window. And as you can tell, it's already show, showing up Melodyne and it's telling me that it's containing one v VST. And there we have it. If I just drag and drop it in onto the instrument slot here, it'll take some time to start since it's a pathing to um, conversion steps, ones from Windows to Linux uh, via Wine, and then from uh, from the uh, Windows XE to the Linux uh, readable file uh, via LinVST. So, yeah, and there you have it. And I already know know that this is a little bug. So it's not showing everything if I just increase the window size. In my case, I can just simply hit show plugin window off and on. And if I did that once, it fits my desired size. And now I simply can hit transfer and hit the playback and it will transfer the data uh, shown in the track if I had a uh, data up there inside of Melodyne and I can work with that. So that's it for now. If you like it and hopefully you do as you can enjoy Melodyne pretty easy on your system, leave a thumbs up and hit the notification notification bell to be notified whenever a new video is up and if you get other questions just leave them down in the comments below and if you are interested in an simply another topic just write it down in the notification notifications as well and that's it for now see you later